Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tuesday and time for take five again. So pause whatever you're doing and let's take a few minutes to dig into the word and get our day started in the right direction. Yesterday, we talked about our text from Sunday morning sermon in John chapter four, that story of Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well. We found out that our God is actually a needy God. Yeah, you heard me right. Our God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords and the creator of all of the universe and everything that's in it is a needy God. We found out by Jesus telling the woman at the well that our God is actually seeking the whole earth, looking for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. So today we define worship in two ways. The first one is literally to kneel down or bow down or to prostrate oneself in homage. And homage just means respect that is shown publicly. The second definition that scripture gives us is to minister or render religious homage through service. So basically there are two main ways that you and I are supposed to worship. The first being through actual worship like we did Sunday morning in church and the other to be through service or simply the the way we live our lives. Most of us would call that lifestyle worship. It's very, very important that we understand that, that just doing one of these two things does not satisfy God's desire for worship. If we're going to be people that are true worshipers, if we're going to satisfy God's desire and His need for true worship, then we must be people that not only worship in service on Sunday morning or Wednesday night, but people that also worship God through our lifestyle. There are a lot of people that worship God in church on Sundays or whenever their day is that they go to, they attend church and they lift their hands and they sing songs and they clap their hands and they praise God and they do all of the things that we do in church. And then Monday through Saturday, they live their lives however they want to. They continue in their sin and they they make decisions based on what they think is right and they never consult God on what He wants them to do and they never sacrifice anything for God. It's their 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 worship is, is only about what they do on Sunday morning. And God is not pleased with that. I won't take the time to read the scripture, but Sometime today, take a moment and read Isaiah chapter number 1 and Jeremiah chapter 7 and read the story of God really just expressing His anger with the Israelite people because of the way that they were worshiping Him ceremonially. They were worshiping Him in service. They were worshiping Him with sacrifices and they were worshiping Him at church, but their lives were so sinful and so terrible and and evil and, and He he expressed his anger at them because of the way that they were worshiping him. He was not pleased with their worship. Take a moment and read that some point today and, and be reminded of, of how God not only wants worship on Sunday, but he wants us to live lifestyles of worship. He is not pleased. He is not satisfied with people that only worship him ceremonially in church. He wants our whole heart. Romans 12 says that that we should live our lives as a living sacrifice for God. That that, that it says in Romans 12 that that is our true worship. That is the way that we can truly worship God. God wants us to be true worshipers. He wants us to be people that are not only involved in worship on Sunday, but also are involved in worship every single day, living out lifestyle worship. Monday through Saturday at our workplace, at school, at our our jobs, at, at wherever we do our hobbies, whatever we're doing and wherever we might be, that's where he wants us also to live lifestyle worship, to, to, to honor him in everything that we do. It takes both ways to please God. So today, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, whether you're at school, whatever you might be doing, pray and ask God to help you to have the right attitude as you go about your day. Whatever you might be doing, no matter how tedious it is, no matter how much you maybe don't like your job or whatever that you might be doing, 
Ask God to help you do it with the right heart, with an attitude of, of worship. Quote Psalms 51 over your life all day if you have to. God create in me a clean heart and renew a loyal spirit in me. I hope you have a great day today. Go out and live a lifestyle of worship.